Hello viewers, Angry Birds Kid one here, slinging into action. Welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. Last time we played as Olimar on Distant Planet with main theme of Pikmin New Remix. We unlocked Pac-Man, we're gonna play as the Yellow Orb on Pac-Land with the original Pac-Man theme. Alright, we are using the pink and orange Joy-Cons on Charging Grip number one, we're gonna use Pac-Man, and we're gonna face Olimar doing those tactics again, let's go. Getting straight into things right here, so Pac-Man is interesting, indeed, they're all interesting characters. Pac-Man has a lot of references to his older appearances. Uh, well, he's got a few newer ones too, so yeah, Standard Special, still the bonus fruit. There's a lot of technical things with that one. Also, his grab's interesting, look. It kinda, it has waves, but it kind if you're, uh... If you leave him out like that, if you leave the grab out, then he's kind of vulnerable. Olimar has a gun. His smash attacks, by the way, are also the ghosts from the games. There's Blinky, Inky, and Pinky, and Clyde right there. Uh, Pac-Man's got a lot. So yeah, the bonus fruit, I charged up to the key. That's the fullest. Down special's the fire hydrant. Side special's power pellet. Kind of chases after the pellet. Just good old original Pac-Man there. Uh... Yeah, down special is fire hydrant. It kind of it has water properties, as you see. And I believe if you're on top of it, the water pushes up. Uh, what else does Pac-Man have? Well, taunts up taunt shows a random Namco reference side taunt. Original Waka Waka Pac-Man, like that. Oh god, I almost flew off the stage. You can also ang oh god angle the power pellet. Oh, I didn't show the up special actually, but down taunt. Oh, it's fairies. Oh, they changed that. He used to lie down and uh, just dance around with the ghosts actually but now it's uh, fairies that's an, an interesting change I'm trying to see if it has a chance of being the ghosts it might okay we got a smash ball here don't you dare get that Olimar come on alright super pac-man time Yeah, so it just kind of loops around the stage, just like Pac-Man does on the maze sometimes in the original game, which is interesting. And we got the Dragoon, but yeah, Pac-Man has a lot. We'll get more into him another time, I guess, but... He's very diverse with references, and he's all obviously a classic Namco character. Very classic indeed, Pac-Man. Alright. 80 gold, not bad. Or, 90 gold, sorry. Kind of derp there. All right, one minute, 44 seconds on pac land. Unfortunately, the pac maze is not in this stage, but that's okay. And I like how Pac-Man's icon, instead of his head, it's the original Pac-Man, which is pretty cool for his stocks. Well, I guess it's kind of his head. So, yeah, Pac-Man, a lot of diversity. New foes appear, challenge approaching. Dark Samus. Another amiibo. Ooh, we're on the Frigate Orphean, I believe it's called. Okay, now Dark Samus is kind of terrifying. She's a floating, darker Samus, obviously. Also, did she just heal herself? <sighs> She's sweeping. Yeah, these these are getting tougher. It's good to lay the fire hydrant and then really smash attack. Yeah, so the up special I didn't explain. I guess trampoline, uh, you can bounce on it up to three times. I probably shouldn't be explaining it during this uh, unlockable battle right here. But we're doing, doing all right against Dark Samus. Push her off the stage. Come on. She's off the stage. Oh, God. Don't push me off the stage. Come on, just get off. If she just gets off from that, I will laugh. Okay. Yeah! Dark Samus is here. That's right. The Echo Fighter of Samus. Of course, we have Samus. This is the final Metroid character we have to unbox. Oh, man. Dark Samus is here. Let's get her open. Ooh, she... Sorry, it. It is tough to open. I heard Dark Samus isn't it. What the heck? Alright, let's try from this side. Is it this side? Okay, it's this side. Dark Samus being a bit different. There we go. Dark Samus is interesting. There's Dark Pit, obviously, so it's interesting they added another Dark Fighter. See that, viewers? Oh, man. So much variety in this game, but also some similarities. Just a lot. There we go. Come on, Dark Samus. Oh, 
Oh, what the heck? Okay, there we go. Dark Samus. Let's fully unbox her. Ooh, she's on a little it. I keep saying she. She's on a little clear stand. Ooh, she's tough to get out. Look at that. Okay, just a sec, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that guys. Man, that was tough to take out. There, there it is. Let me just pack her box up. Oh, I kind of dented the plastic a bit there. She was tough to get out, man. It! Oh my god. Dark Samus was tough to get out, man. Its waist was like around the, the plastic. That was tricky. Wow. Surprising. But they gotta package them up tight so they don't damage, so I, I suppose. Come on, get in there. Okay, there we go. That took a while in general, guys, but anyway, Dark Sam- well, actually, look, fighting off against Dark Pit, rather fitting, two Dark characters. So Dark Samus, yeah, Samus is Echo Fighter, we can do a comparison in a sec, but look at this thing. She looks like she's made of, like, little bits of something, like, it, oh my god, I keep saying she, you guys know what I mean. This is the bottom. Alright, let's do a quick comparison. Alright, there's Samus, there's Dark Samus. Wow. Both got the arm cannon, the normal arm. Except Dark Samus kind of floats and Samus kind of walks. It's interesting. Very cool. Alright, Dark Samus, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys after a really big Amiibo reorganization. Alright viewers, one more time. There's the freaky Dark Samus. Oh, she's it. How many times? Leave in the comments how many times I said she instead of it. Let me turn on my light. There we go. Really dark. It's looking really dark in the corner. There we go. Between Samus, obviously, and Fox. Nice reorganized right there. And I didn't mention last time, I got... Joker and Hero for Christmas, and I got Cat Mario and Cat Peach with uh, Super Mario 3D World Switch and Bowser's Fury on the day it came out. So that's pretty cool. I'll see you guys back in the game. Went a bit high with that up special there, Dark Samus. Dark Samus joins the battle. All right, we're gonna use Dark Samus next time. Another Echo. Very interesting. So another newcomer next time. Uh, we can go back to the Frigate Orphean, I believe that's what it's called. Frygate. Where was it at? Yeah, Frygate Orphean uh, versus Parasite Queen Meta Ridley. Is there a Dark Samus theme here? Dark Samus theme. Is there not? Hmm. You know what? I might have to relook at it in the video, but we might just listen to we might just listen to whatever music just played. But we'll do versus Parasite Queen for now. How big is this roster? I think there's only 16 more characters. Oh yeah, there we go. There's Dark Samus right between there. Next time we're going to be using Dark Samus. Be sure to check out Sonic Forces, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Nintendo Switch, and Yoshi's Crafted World. Dark Samus is up next. And, uh, wow. We have all the Metroid, every Metroid character now. You'll notice, look, Samus, Dark Samus, 
Zero Suit Samus, and then just Ridley. Wow. Dark Samus is up next. Get ready for that, guys. I'm Angry Birds Kid 1, and always will be.